President Baru's traditional and religious advisor, Dembo Bojang, asked the opposition UDP parliamentarians, who called President Baru a thief, to return the vehicles given to them by the head of state after repeated allegations of corruption and theft were made against the president by opposition lawmakers. Dembo Bojang, whose political name is Dembo by force, said those that refuse to return the vehicles to the presidency will be accomplices to the so-called theft and are guilty of theft by receiving. Dembo by force said, UDP parliamentarian saying Baru steals public funds, that's why he is proud. They are more of a thief than Baru. If he steals public fund, brought 31 cars and gave it to them, and they accept it and still say President Baru is a thief, I will prepare my IGP to arrest them, Bojang ended. Bojang was speaking at a rally with President Adama Baru in his hometown of Bakau. The coastal town, seven miles east of the capital Banjo, is historically a strong base for opposition parties. The main opposition UDP enjoys great support in the town, and Baro is on a feverish effort to flip in. UDP leader Usain Dabo and senior members of his party have been accusing Mr. Baru and his government of theft and being more corrupt than administration of former president Yahya Jambe. Dabo, in a recent interview, said, Baru is living a more lavish lifestyle than former president Yahya Jambe. Boja was the UDP national president and a strong opposition figure in Bakau until he resigned from the party in 2019 to join and support Barrow's NPP, becoming the national president for Mr. Barrow's party and the traditional and religious advisor to the president. The vehicles that Mr. Bojang is demanding UDP lawmakers return were the cross of a contentious transparency issue when Barrow first came to power. UDP lawmakers who were in the same party with Barrow at the time defended the president, including their party leader, then Foreign Minister Usain Dabo. Dabo and other UDP members of parliament said an anonymous donor who is a supporter of Mr. Baru brought the vehicles as support to the head of state and the National Assembly. Only four lawmakers, all of them from the PDOIS party, turned down the offer, refusing to accept the vehicles. The acceptance of these vehicles by the National Assembly was meant to be backlash from people who felt that the parliamentarians who accepted the vehicles allowed the president to undermine the legitimacy, the legal and political authority of the National Assembly.